So right now, uh, my friend and I will on the way to Kfar Saba. We're gonna go to Cinema City VIP section because we wanna check what vegan options they have and give you a review. So we'll see you there. And we're here. So this is the Cinema City. We're gonna go up to find the VIP section. Look at that. Oh, we're going to this movie. So this is very advanced playground. You get a card that you need to basically put in front of the game and then charge it. point and we got this ball a little present for Lana so cute and you can reuse this card as much as you want you're missing a sword somebody stole his sword and spongebob with no hands uh, Mr. Bean Wait, I want to see it next to Mr. Bean. Cause he's Iron Man. He can do your laundry. Okay, so this is the VIP section. Let's see what vegan food they have. Okay, so here we have all the salad. They basically say right here below if it has uh, gluten or milk in it. So I see, from what I see, all of them are vegan. Those are the sauce. I'm gonna skip there. This one. 
this is the pizza and the quiche, but they went and made me like a special vegan one. You just need to add one of the service here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they have a fruit salad, tea, and they have shake. Okay, this is the ice cream section, and this is the one I already tried. It's the vegan Ben and Jerry. They really need to bring the chunky monkey and the peanut butter. They have such amazing taste. And here's the dessert, and I'm guessing oh. those one. Uh, yeah, they all with milk. This is my meal. They prepare right now a pizza and a vegan quiche for me. That's so nice. Uh, the waitress here said that you can always update them before you come and then it will be ready for you as you arrive because now they need to defrost it. And they also have a vegan shake. He just check it for me. It's so nice of him. So both of the shake are vegan as well. They had a few salad options and all of the vegetables seems fresh. But none of the dish was that special that you feel like you have to come there again just for it. And they were also missing some home fries like the S Planet had. So here I have the vegan pizza they just brought me. I think I'm gonna take some uh, tomato paste and put on it. Anyway, we're gonna try it now. Itadakimas. Hot. It's all right. So it's kind of tastes like a pork pizza that's been defrosted. It's not something that like specially made. And here they have pasta. And they have two options. They have a tomato one, which is vegan one. And here it looks like they have a mosley for dessert, which seems very nice. Okay, so here also got the vegan quiche, and that looks amazing. It look way better than the pizza. I'm gonna try it now. Tadakimasu. Okay, we're gonna switch. Mm. Oh, this is good. It's a bit cold because I guess they do it in a rush, but it's good. So this is the pasta, and I think my favorite part here is the tomato paste. Okay, let's try the pasta. Mm, the pasta is also nice. I give it 8.5. That was a huge amount of food I couldn't finish. I wish they could just like pack it up for me so I can take it on. Look, they have a huge quiche there and a pizza. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the mosley right now. So here I have some kind of mosley. It comes with this granola and a lot of fruits underneath. I'm gonna try it. Mm. So I thought of a way to upgrade my mosley. I have a vegan mango uh, ice cream and I'm gonna mix it together. I'll get you! Squeeze! Yeah. And now we're gonna do like this. Oh, it's freezing. I'm gonna take it with me, it's still completely frozen. We just got out of the movie and they also bought us those two little chocolate of Godiva. I need to check if they're vegan, but that's a nice touch. Uh, we didn't got it in the Haifa planet, so that's nice. Okay, so that was our little experience at the VIP Cinema City in Kfar uh, Saba. I think overall I give it an 8, uh, the service there was lovely, they were very keen to help and they gave me all the information about the dishes. The dishes was nice, they had some variety but some of them were very mediocre, like the pizza, it felt like a frozen pizza, uh, so yeah, overall I give it an 8. Hope you enjoyed this little review and if you like, leave a like and subscribe and until next time, uh, bye!